you are having a fantastic week so far. I am super, super excited because this morning I actually got my hands on some dry ice and so I figured I would do an at-home experiment for you all. It's been a while. I miss you all so much. So today we're going to do the dry ice bubbles experiment. Okay, so what do you need for this thing? First thing is you need some kind of soda bottle. So I like to use a three liter soda bottle just because it's bigger and it creates more bubbles, so that's my preference. But a half a liter, one liter, two liter, anything like that would absolutely work. Look around your house, see what you can find, and try it. That's what being a scientist is about. Like, see if it will work with whatever apparatus you build. All right, so we've got a soda bottle. After that, you're going to need to build a small, tiny apparatus. And you can go to any hardware store to buy these items. I'm sure you can get curbside delivery right now so we'll figure it out but what you need is a funnel and you need a tube okay so what you're going to do is tape the funnel to the tube right here and on the other side what you're going to do is take the cap of the soda bottle cut a little hole in it I found scissors work really well but make sure you grab an adult to help you with this I don't want you to cut yourself just building your apparatus but cut a little hole in the cap and then shove the tube through there so you should have a funnel tube cap apparatus it takes a few minutes to build so I actually built this ahead of time just to save some time on camera okay after that what you're going to need is a bowl and then inside of it put some kind of soapy solution I am very um, particular about this I yeah I've never use bubble bath or excuse me I never use dish solution instead I use bubble bath solution because it makes more bubbles so I strongly recommend for you to use bubble bath solution um, today I'm using gum scented uh, there's a blue raspberry out there that I think is quite gross so avoid that one unless that's your thing grab the blue raspberry one okay after that, you're going to need some dry ice. If you're using dry ice, make sure that you have some kind of cryogenic glove, which I'm sure you all have at home, but instead of a cryogenic glove, you can use a towel, a work glove, a heat glove, an oven mitt. There's a lot of different things you can use. Just don't use your bare hand, well, it's still glove, but don't use your bare hand on the dry ice. All right, so we've got a bottle. We've got a funnel tube cap apparatus, some bubble bath solution, and some dry ice. Today, I'm actually going to spike mine with something called Universal Indicator. This is something you can buy on Online at most stores they can have it delivered um, universal indicator is actually a solution that has six different molecules in there so there's six different indicators in there um, one of them is called phenyl daline and that's a laxative so you do not want to drink this ever 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 so make sure you just use it as a chemical and never inside your body all right so now that I've got everything ready I'm gonna open up my universal indicator so I'm gonna grab my goggles first just because I don't want to splash that into my eye um, if you grab universal indicator what you're going to do is grab your soda bottle Grab the indicator and just go ahead and dump a bunch in. What you're going to see is a color change inside my bottle. Now, I have very basic water because I live in Austin, Texas, and our water is basic. So what you're going to see is my indicators reacting to that high basic pH, and it's going to give me a color in that pH range. And I'll, I'll kind of explain what that means in a second, but just kind of bear with me. So right now, we have this kind of purpley color. Let me hold it up against my white wall. There you go. So you can kind of see it's a dark color, a little bit of a purple. Now what I'm going to do is the fun part. Cryo glove, heat glove, oven mitt on. And then you're gonna grab your dry ice and put it directly into the top of the soda bottle. One of the reasons why I like the three liter soda bottle is just because it has that wider opening at the top so you don't have to have smaller pieces of dry ice, um, but that's just a personal preference. Now watch the color inside. It went from that purple, now it's a green. Ooh, kind of vomit green and we're getting a little bit more yellow look at that you guys isn't that awesome we got like this cool yellow color that's really neat now what is happening right how did we just have a color change there well when we add the dry ice solid carbon dioxide to our bottle what's happening is we're actually forming carbonic acid so the carbonic acid is going to react with the minerals that are in my water like I said I have basic water so there's minerals that are naturally in there and the acid and the base are going to react and the pH is going to slowly drop we started with that blue color which was really beautiful that purple blue and that was basic so at a higher pH than seven then we hit that seven range like that green color that's right around pH of seven that's a neutral species and now we're here in that orange and yellows and I'm gonna let this go because I'm hoping it can keep going to get more of a red color and now we're in more of an acidic part so our pH has dropped we're closer to pH of like four three and maybe we'll get to two not sure today but that's not even the best part of the experiment. That's just part one. That's just kind of something fun you can do on the side. You do not need universal indicator at all. If you just have dry ice in a soda bottle and a cryogenic glove, you can just dump the dry ice right in here so you can do the next part. Nope, that doesn't fit. <laughs> 
All right, so now what we're seeing is sublimation. We've got this dry, dry ice carbon dioxide that went into my water, and now we're releasing the gas. So we're gonna use our funnel tube cap apparatus, screw that on the top, and now what we're gonna look at is that physical change. We've got dry ice, solid, going to a gas directly. That is called, da -da -da, sublimation. Good job, you nailed it. All right, so we've got sublimation here. We're gonna take this gas and put it into our bubble bath solution. When you pull it out, what we're going to do is encourage a bubble to pour. And then when we pop it, we get that gas to come out. How cool is that? Okay, let's do it again. Oh, look at the color, guys. <gasps> Orange, very beautiful. Okay, what is this? This is your physical change. Color change was chemical change. That was irreversible. The molecules aren't gonna go backwards. Here we've got our physical change, that sublimation. So we've got our solid carbon dioxide going directly to our gaseous carbon dioxide, which I've said like eight times now. All right, now, the bubble bath solution is used because it has a great surface tension. It's going to trap that gas that's coming off, trap it inside of the bubble bath solution so we can actually collect all that uh, white gas, which is neat. Then you pop it and the gas comes out. Now, fun trick. If you take, well, let's see, let's see if this works. I usually use a bare hand, but this might actually work. So dunk your hand into the bubble bath solution. Then what you're gonna do is try to encourage your bubble to sit on your hand. So now what you need here is to make sure your hand is completely covered in the bubble bath solution. If your hand is dry at all, this will not work. But if it's wet, you can actually hold a bubble. If you're lucky, which I never am, you can step back, please. That, that kind of counts, right? Didn't it count? Okay, and then we have this. <laughs> so there is my dry ice bubble, okay? There is a chemical change. That's the acid-base neutralization reaction happening in here. That's what took our purples to our greens to our yellows to now this like orangey red color. Then we have our physical change, the sublimation that took our dry ice into the gas. And then we can even talk about surface tension. We can talk about, oh, Gravity, there's so much science in this one. What a cool dry ice bubble. If you like that and you want to check out more, there are 24 more experiments in the big book of experiments and they're available at stores near you.